Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dago here, and welcome back to One Shot. We are trying to find Library Card, and uh, also trying to figure out um, what a few different items that we have found. Okay, so this is locked from the inside. I'm not certain where that elevator goes. Uh, we're also trying to figure out a, a few different, uh, a few different interesting things. I would like to see. Okay, all right. This is the elevator, I believe, that we came down on. So if it's working, I'd like to really quickly... Yeah. Let's really, really quickly hop in here. Uh, and see if this water pill won't, um... Won't be good for the seed, because if I can redeem myself in that area, I'd, uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, no one to chat to here, Nico, except for me. You could try chatting with me. Mm-hmm. Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> Weird. Alrighty then. Water pill, water pill, water, water, water pill. Gonna grow a plant, gonna grow the seed. Gonna take care of the world, yeah. Water pill. No, I can't use it! No! Fine. Okay, well, I came back up here for nothing. Hiya. Back down we go. Oh, hum. Okay. Oh, there's a robot over here. Beep boop. Beep boop. Oh, that's right. We spoke to you before. All right. Okay. That way... Okay. Little turnaround. That way leads to the library. Got it. Um... Wasn't there another elevator? Okay, so that leads to the elevator that's closed. Uh, this just might lead to the- to the library. That's the library. This is just a loop, and I'm pretty sure there's just another loop. Okay, so that's all there is over here. Pretty sure I saw everything in the library? I need a library card to get to the head librarian, George. George? George! Where are you, George? Cats down there. Alrighty then. So many interesting things going on. Her dee -der -der. Wait, is this the way to le leads to that other elevator? Hey, let's go in here. Interesting. Oh! Oh, is that the tower? I think that's the tower. Can't go up there yet, but we're gonna get there. It looks like I can unlock this door. Oh, is this the elevator that was locked? Yeah, it was. This is the elevator that was locked from the inside. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So I can get to the tower from two different directions now. Can 
can walk around the tower. Oh, uh, excuse me? Can I help you? Why did you, uh, why did you just exit out of full screen? It's a giant red X. Okay, clearly can't go into the tower yet. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's go this way. Doors, doors. Three different doors. Well, let's go into this one first. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Okay. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also, robots. Oh, cool. It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. It can also help to write down previous attempts, management. There's a puzzle, is there? It may help you to go one color at a time. Huh. Something in my instinct tells me to visit the side doors first, and then the one in the center. Oh, hi! The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor, phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57 this past week. Alarming to say the least, that's the sharpest decline I've seen and the number is only increasing. We will have to, fur we will have to further concentrate the phosphor now for, of it to be, for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? A bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. Man, that stinks. Oh, is this the center, cent central? Yeah, the center door. Okay. Oh, does this lead? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Halt! Please await further instruction on the security test. Please speak to the door, robot. Oh, all right. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The what? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Okay. Um, how do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see here. What happens if we change one to blue? Two lights are correct. Access denied, nine tries left. Okay. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need something to write on. Oh, I don't have any scrap paper. All right, how about this? Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, fiddlesticks. That. Ah. Uh, shouldn't be this hard. To get a scrap piece of paper. Okay. Alrighty then.
my goodness. All right, well, okay. Three lights are correct. So three yellow ones. No, I'm assuming that order matters, but it's very odd. It doesn't seem to. So yellow, 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 yellow is three correct. So what happens if I change this one to blue? Four lights correct. Okay. So yellow, 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 blue is four light, uh, lights correct. The question is, which one of these yellow ones needs to be changed? Three lights correct. That's not correct. All right, so change that back to yellow. Well, yeah. Um, three lights correct. Hmm. Three lights correct. Three lights cor Oh man, this is... Hmm. Four lights correct, okay. Access denied, two right. Um, does this need to be red? Five lights correct, yay! <laughs> uh, that was a little bit more guesswork than I uh, would originally have liked, but you know, take what you can get. Yay, okay. My robot! What happened? I don't know. I left for a minute and that happened. What am I gonna do? I'm sorry, your robot is gone. <laughs> oh, interesting. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No? I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really, but your head is a TV. What, what does that have to do with anything? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, just m move along, Nico. I cannot stop spinning. You spin me right, okay. Uh, these robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. This one is inactive. Boop. Hmm. Hmm. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Yeah, how does he get all that energy? Is he reaping the energy from the world? Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. D does that mean that- are you confirming that the author is Dr. Silverpoint? None of, none of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last weekend. She fell asleep. No. Oh. It's a shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. Coffee. It's a bookshelf. Oopsies. Oh man. Oh shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Degram helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Heh. That sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Aw. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Oh, wow, thanks. There. You're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot. The front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Ah, yeah. Something is poking out from this shelf. 
It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. I completely missed who you were, but you look a lot like Silver. So, you've been walking over all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you really get tired sometimes? Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind, it's actually really pretty. Ha! I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world like with the sun? Oh, uh... You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I actually have seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of the land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. Uh, difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or, more specifically, coding them. How come? It's me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliché, but true. Oh, okay. Oh, I wish I... Hey, Dagram. Doesn't that lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Yeah. Oh? The... that's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But turns out, you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, oh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Interesting. Anything else? No. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This, consistent, this is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. Ugh, those square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Monitoring. Monitoring. Interesting. Okie dokie. So, I need to go get my photo taken. Hmm. Hey there! Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah! I need to take a picture for the uh, reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Heh, <laughs> you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All of the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Degoram and I can figure it out f uh, for them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs, like me. 
Okay. You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that mean I'm and by that I mean the concave lens did. I have a concave lens. Okay. Hmm. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Okay. The convex lens goes on one of the ends. The con... Cave lens goes through thick and thin. Hmm. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin le- Oh, this is a puzzle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Thin between curved. Bulgy on end. Okay. Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. Thick. To left of curved. Okay. Wait a second. Glitter glue. Can that help out our, uh, our dude? He looks busy. You can tell, huh? Ah, I can't... A street lamp! This one seems taller than the others. Ah, why can't I use any of my items? Oh, I bet I need to use the glue to add my picture to the library card. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Uh, look, really quickly, let's... What did she say again? Uh, let's see here. The concave lens goes between thick and thin. Concave between thick and thin. Okay, I think I can figure this one out. Alright, so... Thick goes to the left of both curved ones. Thin goes between the curved ones. So, and bulgy goes on the end. Um, let's see here. So, I'm gonna say the convex lens goes here, bulgy on the end, concave between thick and thin. Um, wait a second. Thick goes to the left of the curved. Okay, so thick goes here. Concave goes here. And thin right goes between. Did that work? Hey, it did. Yay! Uh, cheese? Pachink! Ouch! <laughs> my eyes! Ah, my eyes! Hee <laughs> hee! It's a photo of me! Are my eyes always this big? Alrighty then, can I use... The glitter glue on the photo? The back of the photo is covered in glue. And glitter. Alright. The card has my face on it now. Yay! Cool. Alright, let's go back to the library. Oopsies. Wrong way. Making progress on the puzzles. Oh wait, I can go in here. Oh man, now I feel like I need to check everything. It's a bit fish tank. 
Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. How about the water pill? Can't use any of my materials. It's a sink. Okay. Were there any other buildings I could go into that I didn't notice? I don't think so. Okay. At least not down here. Authorized entry. Library card required for further access. I know, I know. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. Yeah. phone. Looks like an old phone. It's full. <laughs> Someone hasn't come out in a while. Excuse me. Hey! Who the heck do you think you are barging in here like that? I don't care if you're the messiah. Manners are still a thing. I'm sorry? Well, are you just here to apologize? Yes? I, I mean, no. I mean, I need your help. I'm not sure what I need to do next. I think I need to go in the tower. Seriously, you haven't figured that one out yet? I don't know how to get in. Well, I don't know either. Shouldn't Dagram help you with that? All I know is that nobody from this world can get in there. Not beyond that tiny entrance room, anyway. If anything, there might be a book on how the Messiah of all people can get in, but I don't got anything like that in my collection. Would like to, though. I see. Well, you're a big help, lady. These boxes are full of loose papers and notebooks. What? You ain't never seen manuscripts before? That's what books look like before they get published, kid. I see. Do you help him publish books? Well, duh. Why do you think I have a literal mountains of, ma of his manuscripts here? He just wouldn't stop sending me things. Like, man, oh man, does that guy work fast. I just couldn't keep up. But one day he just stopped. About time, I would say. But it's also weird since it's him. But worst of all, worst part of all, even after he stopped bombarding me, the piles of material I have on hand never seem to get any smaller. It's like the boxes are magically filling themselves back up every time I turn around. What is even happening? Are you okay? No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, uh, before I start going through everything in the library, I'm gonna have to cut this episode here. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I just... Uh, will we ever get answers? I don't know. Um, but I'm really looking forward to uh, getting into the tower and seeing what that's all about. So please uh, do let me know uh, what you think in the comments. As always, do subscribe for more shenanigans, and I will see you next time.